Joining us now is someone highly focused on economic matters, candidate for California controller, Lan He Chen. Lan He, our audience knows Great you pretty well you. by now. Yeah. Um, we were so excited to follow your race because it would be the, a, a big upset. First time anyone's won, a Republican's won statewide in California since 2006. Um, but it's this economic focus of this practical common sense approach seems to be resonating. I think it is resonating. I think Californians are tired of the waste. They're tired of the mismanagement. They see the homeless problem. $20 billion we spent on homelessness. The problem's gotten worse. Gas prices, record high gas prices. No one knows where the gas tax goes. Our education system, one of the worst in the country, $60 billion from the federal government. Where'd all that money go? So we are very focused on economic conditions. And every California voter I've talked to, Steve, yeah. every single one in the the last week, they've talked to me about, can you help get prices down? Can you deal with inflation? Why are we focused on anything other than the economy? That's what they want to know. And, and can you? I mean, in, in, in terms of statewide office, because it's such a complex issue, so, so much uh, influenced by federal policy, what can be done at the state level? The most important thing is accountability. I always tell people that we cannot begin to make meaningful change in the state unless we know where the money is going. So I'm really focused on making sure that every California voter understands where their tax dollars go. We need to build, for example, a best-in-class transparency database so people can go online and figure out where their tax dollars go. Then we need to use the audit power of the controller's yeah. office, really dig in. Tell us how that money's being spent. Are we getting results for the billions upon billions we're spending? Well, it's actually right, because that's the cause of the inflation, fundamentally, yeah, absolutely. is the spending. It's this kind of totally out of control spending. Yeah. Um, I mean, and, and the waste here, I mean, the unbelievable amount of money that was just lost to waste and fraud and, and just theft in terms of the pandemic handouts that happened. Yeah, $30 billion in the unemployment insurance system went Amazing to fraudsters, numbers. people in prison, people in Russia and China. I mean, it's remarkable. And then now they want to spend $2 million to build a toilet in San Francisco. I'm sure you've heard this story. Yes. I mean, remarkable, yes. right? And, and so it's no surprise that even Gavin Newsom is trying to put the brakes on homelessness spending because he realizes that this money's not actually going to solve the problem that's anymore. Right. And I think that's what's frustrating people in this state. So we've got a whole plan to bring accountability to this. People can go to ChenForCalifornia.com to learn more about what we want to do to make sure that we fix this state's finances. And we've got to leave it there, Lani, but the other point I would make, to, to, and it's a theme of our, all our discussions, is that your opponent, these, these people that call everyone else extremists, she's on the far left. Financial really disaster, is. didn't pay your taxes, but wants you to pay yours. There you are, of course. Well, classic Democrat, Lani Chen, great to Thank see you. you. Thank you so much. Uh, Leo and Alicia um, are going to be with us back ahead, so please stay with us. We'll see you.